And he's standing by with Molly McGrath. I'm here with Coach on the... After a slow start to 2023, Milrow finished with an outstanding campaign. Here's Jim Miller, great run on the first X in the fall. So a new group back there, Milrow in trouble. And this is what he does so well. We saw this a ton last year. He rushed for 12. No, it's second down and short. I'm going to run it again. And it's a first down for Miller. Craig, obviously you're close to ice him. And played as well as anybody at quarterback in the country down the stretch. Milrow throwing a deep ball here. And up high, made a great catch. Justice Haynes gets the call here into the end zone for the touchdown. Only had 25 carries a year ago, but he and Jan Miller in the history of the NCAA. Connor Talty, Upton Belafont, and this young man here, Reed Shoeback. They got Richard Young at running back. Able to push the pile out. Simpson with time, and it's pulled in for a first down. Here's Young able to break a tackle in the hole and able to slip an ankle tackle attempt at the field. Simpson going to hand it off again. And good job of the batty. Play fake. Simpson with pressure. Steps up. Gets out of there. Launches it downfield. And Sheridan. A ton of coaches on this staff as Simpson is down to the 36. All either were at Washington or or felt very confident all the guys he brought in. Simpson's pass high and incomplete. But the structure that was here under Nick Saints summer progresses. So fourth down. Simpson from the pocket unloads in traffic and it's caught for a first down at the 26 yard line. Pulling it back, Simpson, and then dumping it off. Nice catch by Hill out of the backfield. Big athletic, true freshman than he did at any point last year in the spring or in fall. Here's Hill again, this time with the carry. Push back. Simpson going to hand it off here in a jet sweep. Inside the 10 to Adams and pushed out of bounds. Played here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The ball is balling. He knows how to get the most out of his guys. Here's a pitch to Young. And Young able to Richard freshman Richard Young attacking the defense that Ellen Font will get a place kicker here for this extra point. Head coach, Miss Terry. <laughs> I, I, I've never ever had to watch a game with her. So I'm a little concerned. No road, two and two passing so far. Gonna hand it off here. Justice Haynes. That at the one. Look at you calling plays in the spring game. You have a future in this business. Touchdown for Jim Miller. And that offensive line up front. Connor Talty for the extra point. Coach DeBoer appreciates the greatness in you, and you can tell the players truly love Coach DeBoer. Those who stayed feel closer than ever because they chose to stay. the same role, but as far as walking on eggshells, there's a lot less of that for sure. Big guys are empowered and trusted. And Nick Saban continues to be receptive to any way he can help better the next stage of this program. And I think that's so too, so I'm going to do a lot of things he did to maintain the success that this place has had for so many years. We're well Dave. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> a chain game move. <laughs> as soon as Kalen said, let's go, fresh set it out. He's a versatile guy. They're trying to figure out whether he's a tight end or a receiver. They, as we mentioned earlier, really four tight ends. JD can see everybody. Lonergan wearing your number here in Alabama. He'll spot it on the six yard line. And no running room up the middle. And Daniel Hill almost ran over his quarter. But likely a first round pick. Caleb Downs transferred to Ohio State. Lonergan's pass broken up, nearly picked off on the redirection for their game. So a chance of three points here. And the kick is good. From 27 yards away. Four. See Sav just trying to grab onto his jersey to slow him down, but that's not going to work. It's another touchdown for Jam Miller. Second already. Hung arm, battling for that left tackle spot throughout the course of summer, and then 
ultimately in the fall camp, but tackles, big question mark for this team. I feel like they're ahead of schedule at that spot, which is tremendous news for Alabama fans. Max pass again, a little off. Drafted in the first round. And you think it'll be Dallas Turner's name that's called first, potentially in the top 10. Have great, great speed off the edge to go along with Robinson, who's likely going to be the starter. But situationally, those. The starters are back out there on offense and on defense. Jam Miller gets the carry. Really empowers the safety spot as well, too. So it should be a great move for him and his future prospects. With great turnover, knowing that Terry on Arnold and Kool-Aid McKinstry are both going to go in the first round. A lot of young guys that will be stepping up. So that's a huge position to see today to be right there back at the top of the SEC rankings. Richard Young gets the carry here and maybe a yard. Being the first team left out last year, they would naturally be in, but would have to play that additional game. And remember, those first round games are played at home. So talking the same. So typical Alabama three steps ahead when it comes to planning. <laughs> well, think about some of the schools that pass has dropped, like Milrow threw it on. Said We're seven points away from a national championship game. You can't leave when we are so close. It's something he reminds his teammates in the weight room during tough winter workouts when they're tired after a long day. Hope Maintain the sense of player-led accountability is enormous. And that's something that Alabama's always been good at as Kendrick Law breaks free, pushed toward the sideline. And, and him absolutely 100% supporting Kalen DeBoer has been big and easing this transition. Ty Lockwood on the catch. And Russell immediately when a new head coach is hired, and that's why you had players from Alabama leave after that first window closed. Richard Young on the carry, not going to get the board here on fourth down and one. Mack was trying to call timeout. The ball was snapped. And then the pass by Young picked off. What a great play. By Drake. First round pick and been a great player for a long time for the Bengals. Snap again, a little off the mark. Here's Bubba Hampton. Out of bounds, short of the goal. So it's third down and goal after the tackle for a loss. Ball on the four. Molly McGrath here in Tuscaloosa. Biggest stage yet here at Alabama for Kalen DeBoer. They try to run the ball here on third and goal. Daniel Hill going nowhere. Stack ever. Clean it up. Close it's enough. Crimson Tide. <laughs> it's crimson. close enough. It's not close enough. It's crimson. <laughs> it's right in the end zone if you forget. All right, right over the ESPN app. Ty Simpson. Long throw. Kobe Prentice. You were mentioning earlier. Is Ty Simpson ready to be that guy should something happen to Jalen Milrow in terms of injury? Simpson flushed out of the pocket. Pocket breaking down, and Milrow on the run. And I mean, Paul Tyson and the true freshman, Jalen Milrow, who's not playing today, but he's he's here on campus, had an incredible spring. We won't get a chance to look at him, but remember. Attack, guys. Well, when you think of comps, and usually when you ask somebody for a comp, it might have been a face mask there, but uh, no flag. No one's going to just throw throw on the football. I think he's taking huge strides in that area in the last 12 months. Here's Austin Mack out there, and he dumps it off to Adam Thorslin for a gain of about. And don't worry about trying to create the big plays. Hey, second and four is great down the distance for us as a play caller. So I think that was something that he struggled with at times early in his incredibly special, and that's any time you have the ball in your hands in the open field. Moments ago, we just showed a promo, and it's a Michael Lorino the third is the ball carrier down to the 28 for the likely first-round draft pick. Injury speed, making more of a pocket passer and kind of change his game accordingly. And man, I mean, he took off, but yeah, I mean, that was a big part of Michael Penix. College football history, but in sports history, just remarkable what Saban accomplished. And you think about when Nick Saban took over this program, he's got flags down. But now, the fact that there were 60,000 here and you can still watch it in the comfort of your own home is, is pretty remarkable, man. The support for the tide is second to none. Still trying to figure out if that was a shot at me. Lie ahead in the fall for Alabama. First team is still out there. Jam Miller getting the carry. No room there. So pushed out of bounds. For each other's heads off. So it's understandable that it's kind of progressed that way. Milrow from the pocket. A strike. 
short of the line to gain. But a good pickup that time. Seven three and outs forced by the defense after just one in the first half. Simpson leaving the pocket and receiver wide open downfield Bernard two years ago five star recruit a couple years back uh, Martin Tennessee good pressure sued him but he recommitted here and, and then so excited I know all the other Alabama fans feel the same way to see the commitment to basketball here as well as assistant eventually the head coach there then gets the Alabama job Kalen DeBoer at a small school several small schools as either a head coach or as an assistant coach gets an opportunity did a lot of good things today I, I know that maybe didn't get as many reps as he would like or maybe didn't get, have quite the, the efficiency that he would like but his buddies and you're not able to really scheme up the defense you're gonna be just fine no doubt about it